Hey everyone, welcome to Tutorial Academy. So my name is Chirag Bashnav, and in this video we will be solving longest valid parenthesis. So this is one more lead code hard problem that we will be doing. So uh, I have uh, done a lot of hard work doing solving these hard problems. So uh, make sure to like this video and watch this till end because I'm sure that you will learn a lot of things. So whenever a parenthesis comes in, uh, one thing that comes to our mind is okay, can we use stack or something like that? Okay, we can use. we can use there is alternate problem uh, solution to this problem that will be stack if we want uh, write down in the comment section i will try that as well but uh, lately we have been solving dp problems so continuing on that building up on that uh, i have used uh, this as a dp uh, solution or dp approach right so uh, what we will be doing is we will be solving longest well in, uh, valid parenthesis so we are given a string and th and that we have to find that what is the lo longest length of the palindromic sub, sub string that uh, we are having in this right so we will be solving that and i'm really excited for this question so uh, let me first uh, give you the brief that what will be the flow of the session so flow will be like first i will explaining you the question then we will be building up on the logic on which we will be making out the solution and at the end we will be writing the code and uh, i'm definitely sure that you will get to learn a lot of things so uh, without further ado uh, let's get started with the question so here we are So, given a string containing just characters like open parenthesis and co uh, close parenthesis, find the length of longest valid uh, formed parenthesis substring. Right. So, uh, this is what you have to find. So, uh, let's say given the input is this. So, what is the longest valid uh, uh, parenthesis? So, this this one is we know, right? Because what is a valid parenthesis means opening and closing are balanced out, right? So, this is the simple meaning of that. Suppose in the second case, so. uh this is the thing that we are looking for right yes this is right and if it's empty it's zero so uh, basically it seems simple but it is not it is not because it is a lead code hard problem so you have to think about it so either i can go with stack or something like that right so uh, let me discuss that how we will be dealing with this right so uh, let's take this example only close open close open open close so right let's say this example right so what we will be doing is what we will be doing is we will be maintaining a dp array hai na and each i each i will store the maximum length till i maximum length length of what maximum length of valid parenthesis it will contain the maximum length of valid parenthesis till i right but in the interview if you are going you will not directly jump into the okay i know the optimized solution damn here it is no you have to build up the problem so what will be the basic approach what you have to do you have to check that what is the maximum length right of uh, what is the maximum length of the valid parenthesis so what is what will be the valid parenthesis obviously it will be a substring right and in order to find that substring what you have to do you have to simply like uh, iterate through all this go to n square find all the substrings and out of all the substrings find if it's valid or not if it's valid uh, count it in a variable maximum and return the maximum out of all the maximums that we are having and bam there will be your answer right but now i will not be discussing that because if i used to discuss that the video will be hell long right so uh, what we will will be our optimized approach that's why i'm discuss that discussing directly this is that we will be maintaining a dp array and each ith index will store the maximum length till ith valid parenthesis right now as we are doing dp always always there are two cases always there are two cases either uh, always there are two cases right always there are some cases that we have to build upon in the parenthesis we are having two cases either i can go with this either i can go with this either it will be opening bracket either it will be a closing bracket either it will be it will be a opening bracket either it will be a closing bracket right so if it's opening bracket if it's opening bracket the length of this valid parenthesis will be zero if it is a opening bracket the length of this valid parenthesis will be zero if i'm right right so length of this valid parenthesis will be zero 
एंड इफ इट्स अ इफ इट्स अ क्लोजिंग इफ इट्स अ क्लोजिंग सो देर विल बी टू केसेस आई देर विल बी टू थिंग्स आई दर इज देर एनी ओपनिंग और नॉट फॉर इट राइट इफ देर इज एनी ओपनिंग देन वी हैव टू चेक फॉर दैट राइट सो इफ इट्स क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट देर विल बी टू कंडीशन फाइंड ओपनिंग फॉर इट राइट यू वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू फाइंड ओपनिंग एंड चेक इफ max length previous to opening right so uh, things might not be clear till now right so what you have to do suppose i am here suppose i am here so uh, i am here and uh, what what it is is that this is the starting string right and i am here so uh, is there any opening bracket for this no there is not right so what we will be doing is we will be moving further here we are right so uh, let me just uh, write it here closing opening 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 closing closing so uh, this in this we will be uh, telling that on which parenthesis we are and this will be our dp 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ठीक है तो इनिशियली वी आर नॉट वी आर एट दिस इनिशियली वी आर एट दिस राइट वी आर नॉट हैविंग एनी प्रीवियस ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट फॉर दिस एज दिस इज आई जीरो एंड आई माइनस वन विल बी माइनस वन एंड विल नॉट बी स्टार्टिंग बाय दैट सो लेट मी असाइन दिस जीरो ओके देर इज नो लॉन्गेस्ट लेंथ टिल नाउ हेर आई एम सो इन द ओपनिंग आई ऑलवेज सेट दैट दिस इज द ओपनिंग दिस इज द ओपनिंग दिस विल ऑलवेज कंटेन जीरो this will the opening for the opening what you have to do this is the opening of a valent parenthesis right so for this opening the uh, length will always be zero the length will always be zero now now when we are at this now when we are at this what it is it is a closing bracket now for the closing bracket what you have to do now for the closing bracket what you have to do you have to check for the closing bracket you have to check okay if there is any opening bracket right so what are the possibilities if there is any opening bracket or not right so the possibilities is that that either i can use for dp of i minus 1 right either dp of i minus 1 will be opening bracket right so in this case here we can see dp of i minus 1 is a opening bracket so if dp of i minus 1 is opening bracket and we have assigned it okay if there is a opening bracket it will always be zero so won't it be dp of i minus 1 plus 2 why dp of i minus 1 plus 2 dp of i minus 1 plus 2 is because i am here i am here i know this is a closing bracket and i know there is a corresponding opening bracket in just i minus 1th space in just i minus 1th space so Won't my answer will be i minus one plus two, so it will be i minus one dp of i minus one is zero, so it will be two here. It will be two here, right? So, if uh, if it's not still understandable, uh, understood, do not worry. We will be uh, dealing uh, with that, right? Now, now the thing is that again we have uh, occurred a opening uh, bracket. So in in the opening bracket we will be having zero. in the closing bracket what we will be having right so uh, okay one case we missed in this one case we missed in this right so suppose i am here again so i used okay these are the two things that we have been forming but but is there any chance that suppose uh, suppose if 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 this was not the opening and i was having a valid parenthesis of some let's say x till now here as well so don't i need to add this as well the value of dp at this because for every closing parenthesis it will be maintaining the maximum length till i of the valid parenthesis so won't it be dp of i minus 1 plus 2 plus dp of i minus 2 plus dp of i minus 2 right so uh, this will be the case this will be the case right so uh, if not understood till now let's move further i will i'm definitely sure that you will understand it so it's opening again okay zero it's closing again so it will be dp of uh, dp of i minus 1 plus 2 so it's zero plus 2 2 plus 
plus dp of i minus 2 so dp of i i'm i at here so dp of i minus 2 will be here so it's 2 it's 2 here so 2 plus 2 will be 4 so again there are opening brackets and there are opening brackets so out of all the things what what is the maximum we are having 4 it is right so uh, the basic thinking or the basic logic behind this is that that if we are having an opening bracket it will always be zero if we are having a closing bracket then what you have to do then you have to check if the previous element is an opening bracket or not if the previous element is an opening bracket or not if it is an opening bracket then what you have to do you have to do dp of i minus 1 plus 2 plus dp of i minus 2 why dp of i minus 2 because at this case because at this case there can be uh, what will be the valid parenthesis till now right now there is one more case that we have to discuss suppose let's say close close opening openings L let's say this is the case one two three four five six and seven okay okay so uh, i'm ha having i here so again it's a closing bracket but i minus one uh, is not greater than zero so it will be zero then we'll be moving further I will be here so it will be 0 then again I will be here so it will be 0 right now I am having I at here now I am having I at here right so I at here and dp of I minus 1 is equals to is equals to this right so in this case what you have to do you have to do dp of I minus 1 plus 2 plus dp of I minus 2 if you remember right so in this case it will be 2 now I am here again now this is the new case that we have we are looking at so now dp of i minus 1 is also a closing bracket we have not seen this case till now so if it is also a closing bracket right if it is also a closing bracket and for closing bracket we know that what closing bracket holds closing bracket simply holds that okay this is the longest valid parenthesis till now so dp of i minus 1 we are having okay 2 so the length is 2 so okay we know that till this point till this point we will be having our uh, dp right so uh, what will be the answer for this i so the answer of this i will be the answer of this i will be dp of the answer of this i will be dp of i minus dp of i minus 1 minus 1 right by plus 2 so one answer will be this okay by this because we know that dp of i minus 1 is 2 so i know that okay this 2 is all obviously forming a dp this 2 is obviously forming a dp so won't it will be this plus 2 won't it will be this plus 2 plus dp of i minus 1 won't it will be this plus 2 plus dp of i minus 1 because i have to calculate okay what what is for this what is for this and for this i know that okay this is the this is this is in between and okay one bracket for this and one bracket for this so 2 plus this value plus this value right 2 plus this value plus this value so it will be like 2 plus 2 plus 0 so it will be 4 so we will be having 4 here 0 here and 0 here so this was the basic logic behind it. So I hope you got the solution right. So let's head over to the code part so that we can explain it more. Right. So it's the same thing is being written here. So if it is a closing bracket, then there will be two options. Either at S I minus one, I am having an opening bracket. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to check if uh, the if there is existing a, a I minus two or not. If there is existing a I minus two, then you have to uh, like uh, add it plus two else you have to add zero in there right we have discussed the first case else else the case will be that if i minus dp of i minus one is greater than zero this will be the case that okay i'm having an opening bracket i'm having an opening bracket after that means if i'm having a valid parenthesis in between and surrounded by that also i'm having opening closing opening closing opening closing so it will be forming a pattern like that and for that what you have to do you have to do dp of i minus one plus two plus dp of i minus dp of dp of i minus dp of i minus 1 minus 2 so uh, this is the same thing that i have written here if you can uh, focus on it if you can focus on it right here 
right so this is the same thing i've written so uh we will not be discussing that in detail because i want you to uh get your brain started just brainstorm something about it just think about it and let me know if you're having any doubt so at the end we will be having a dp table you have to take the maximum out of it and that will be the longest valid parenthesis substring that we have in the particular string so this is how we have solved the question if you like this video to give a thumbs up if you're having any doubt do ask in the comment section and uh, make sure to like and subscribe this video so